Hey, this is Jimmy Beach with an exposure quick tip video from Alien Skin Software. This video demonstrates cloning with the Spot Heal tool. The brush can be set to either heal or clone. These modes have similar uses, but there is a difference to how these tools work. The Spot Heal tool's clone brush is usually most helpful for duplicating or removing elements from a scene. The heal brush is usually better suited for smoothing textures and removing small blemishes. Let's take a look at how to use the clone brush in exposure. It works best when retouching areas with defined edges like the edge of a building or a mountain or a horizon line, repetitive edges, or strong patterns like grass, trees, bricks, or the stone in this photo. When using the clone brush, be mindful of the feathering amount which can cause blurring in the edges of patterns. We recommend keeping it at the lower end of the range. Another suggestion when working with this tool is to begin your strokes a slight distance away from the previous stroke to keep from accidentally selecting the existing one. You can brush backward to overlap with your brushing regions. This will ensure that the edges of the clone patterns are completely covered. This technique is especially useful for removing linear components like these cables from areas with texture. After using the clone brush, you can easily reposition the sample area. This enables you to carefully align the textures captured in the sample. Whenever possible, vary your sampling areas to keep from noticeable repetition of elements in your images. And that covers it for this quick tip video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial videos on using Exposure. If you haven't used Exposure yet, try it free for 30 days.